Welcome back. In the previous part, we got Jennifer back, so let's see about what we want to do here in order to take these guys out that appeared right at the end. Got quite a few around. I think I'll just bring out Lahal, do pretty much similar to what we do normally. Oh, they didn't do anything. All right, meteor impact. We'll still bring them together. Here I come. See how this plays out. That's very strange. They didn't attack at all. I would have expected something. Okay, you're just gonna come two by two? And then get destroyed? Ooh. Oh, there we go. Hmm. How much damage are they doing? It's not Ooh. too bad, really. Okay, so if I... Hmm... What's the best way to attack all these guys? don't really know. I might move here, actually. And do a meteor impact, and then an execute at this point. Kind of wipe a few more out, and then we get Jennifer back out, assuming she's actually joined the group properly again. I assume she has. All right, there gone. Simple enough. Right, so, yep, Jennifer is about. What can she do for us, though? The cosmic arrow. It's like, hmm... Put Jennifer there. What we'll do is get Tick Tick there. And Eyebrow Fetish there. And we'll get. I think it's Griffin who's got the line of magic boost. He does. So we'll put that there. And then we'll get Athos there. And we'll get Braveheart again in a line there. And what we'll do. No. Go with Giga at this point because I want to get the group wide thingy. Make you stir, like so, and then we'll get Cosmic Arrow, execute, see if that's enough to take these two out. I can do this. I feel like this might be enough to pretty much destroy them, then we've only got two left after that point, right? We've got one of them. It's only problem with resistances. And I am very much after the special hit, plus two, ready for... Jennifer. We got one of them. Level up as well. Nice. It's good to have Jennifer back again. Jennifer, I expected more from you there. Come on now. Come on now. Like, you come back and you're just useless. Just useless. Earthshaker? No. We need to be one further back for that. So, that. Special. Earthshaker. We get Gordon. In there. Wouldn't punch. Can't because of that. Rapid fires too far. Trebest. Gordon Spark it left me. Execute. Hopefully you're not swapping positions. You are, that's annoying. Well that could have gone badly, couldn't it? It could have gone badly. It didn't though, so it's fine. Okay, special Robo Bazooka? Nope. Robo Crush. Yep, that'll do. Execute. Terminate. There we go, level up oh. Lovely. Right, so we got two left. Let's move you out then. Throw you over to that side. There we go. Right, what can we do? Nothing else, we're gonna have to end turn. Repent. Now you would come for my magic users, you... That's why I was trying to line them up over there and like, put them over there, it's like, damn you. Damn you to hell. Okay, so we'll have you like that. Ah, we'll have an attack. We'll have an attack. And then we'll... Have an attack. And we'll have a mega fire on the back. Are you weak to fire? Eh, it doesn't matter. And... Can't really do anything there. What can we do? I'm gonna execute, see what happens. Might be enough just on its own. 
doubt it, though. Just need that bit of extra damage out on her. That's the only problem. She's resistant to fire! Oh. Alright then. Okay, so... The hall, obviously. Alright, so we'll move... Can I move you? Yes. Maybe we can get a bit of extra XPs from this. Execute. Nope. Got you, though. That's something, at least. There we go. Lovely. Quite simple, really. <laughs> you may have foiled my plans this time, but I'm not through yet. Why? What do you have planned now? Wait, Carter! <laughs> Farewell! It's his own private little ship? I can't believe it! Demons are that powerful? His information was completely wrong. Damn him! Was he trying to drive humanity into extinction from the beginning? Possibly. Who is he? Who are you? Oh, it's Midboss. Oh, who, who are you? No matter how advanced your technology is, it is impossible to infiltrate the netherworld without help. Now answer, who is behind this? I, I, I can't. If you do not say, I will kill you. It, it's a man with white wings. It's the Seraph. It's the only person it could be. We don't know anyone else with white, white wings. No. I'm innocent. I, I, I just wanted to save the Earth. Uh-huh. I see. Foolish human. You cannot save the Earth. How do you intend to save all of mankind when you cannot even save your daughter? You have sacrificed the lives of others to satisfy your own ego. Until you realize that, you will be plagued by nightmares. We will be watching you. We? Oh, why am I so awesome? Really? Thank you, Curtis. I will never forget you. Who's Curtis? I swear to you that I will fight with both our strength for the sake of humanity. No, not just for humanity, for every living creature. Even cockroaches. I will too, Curtis. You saved my life. I shall repay you by dedicating it to world peace. Oh yay, world peace. And to preventing others from becoming victims like you and your family. Oh, all the dots? Juan? I'm going back to Celestia. Well, I assume that's the next point we're going to in the story, because we've, we've got to get to the actual story at some point. We've been dilly-dallying all over the place. What? What? <laughs> I must return to find out the Seraph's true intentions! Did we finally get a next episode preview? Because we didn't have one last time. I missed it! I want the new one! Yes! Seems like one problem leads to another! We found out that the humans were being manipulated by the angels! Now, Flan wants to return to Celestia to go face to face with the Seraph himself! What awaits her there? Will the Archangel's true intent be finally revealed? Next on Disgaea, Hour of Darkness, final episode. What lies beyond the battle? The fate of the Netherworld is in your hands! Th this must be a dream! Edna's acting all serious! Could this be a sign of terrible things to come? It's the end of the world! End of the world? Danger, danger, danger. Dude! Everybody run! <laughs> oh, they're gonna get it! Final episode? Alright, let me make a save. 
After learning that Celestia was behind the incident with the Earth Defense Force, I made up my mind to go back to Celestia to ask the Seraph about it directly. The Netherworld, Celestia, the Human World. I never imagined that this war, which involved the entire universe, would come to such an unexpected end. Your mind's made up? I suppose so. Yes. I must speak with the Seraph and find out what has been happening in Celestia. Do you realize that you may have to face him as an enemy? Face Master Lamington as my enemy? He's the head of Celestia, right? We know that someone in Celestia has been helping the EDF. He must have known about it. I agree. I think it's very possible that he's even the mastermind. I doubt it. It's not Christo's way. Wasn't he the one who ordered you to go to the Netherworld in the first place? To assassinate my old man? He clearly, he clearly has ulterior motives. What? An angel ordering an assassination? That's just wrong. He's guilty without a doubt. No, he's not. Can you say that for sure? Yes. I believe in Master Lamington. All the dots? I see. All right, then. Let's get going. It's a good opportunity for me to check out this so-called Seraph. I'm going with you. Harl! Jeez, Prince, why don't you just admit it? I'm worried about Flan, so I'm gonna go with her. See, I think this is the problem with this guy. It's like, because it feels very old as a result of it being very old. The story really isn't as fleshed out as some of the later ones, is it? What's so hard about that, huh? Like, there's not really been any major story developments with Lahal in regards to Flon, so... Feels kind of out of nowhere. F -f fool That's far from the truth! Just needed to be a bit more. But I forgive it because it's an old game, so, you know. Now, now. We all feel the same way, Harley. Jennifer's right. As the defender of Earth, I cannot let my comrade go alone. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. We are comrades. We go together. End of discussion. Indeed. <clears throat> Bunch of fools. See, this is why I'm probably going to like the sequel to this game. It's probably a lot more fleshed out, etc, etc, etc. That's what I'm after with these characters. That sort of thing. Plus, it's got Metallia. Everybody! Final episode, What Lies Beyond the Battle. Oh my. La la la. Oh, I expected something else, but no, they never do, do they? Right, so let's go see about the bathroom. Prince, I'm uh, going to the bathroom, okay? Nope. I've got cost of betrayal. To get back my memories from Madeira, so I tried to poison the prince. Isn't this what the last one was, but I couldn't go through with it? Couldn't stand being Medeiros' pawn anymore, and the king's voice was in the back of my mind, so instead I used the prince to win my memories back from Medeiros. But I tried to poison him, I had betrayed him. And then my memories were stolen, still broke my promise to the king. Yeah, it's the same. I, th I think that's it. I think we're done with Etna's little thing there. Right, so let's go off to the next stage then, and see where we've got to go. We all definitely healed up. Yep, we're all fine. Let's go! Oh, actually, rearrange. My right level. Done. The gate that connects to Celestia and the Netherworld. Prince, please be careful. Alright, Celestia, here we go. Field of Virtue. So, this is the entrance to Celestia. It is said that one of the former Seraphs had this gate constructed to cut off the Netherworld from Celestia. That's just rude, isn't it? That's why it can only be opened by the residents of Celestia. Hmm, <laughs> that's not fair. Okay, I'm going to open the gate. Is everybody ready? Bonjour, everyone. It is a pleasure to see you here. I mean, how are you still a mid-boss at this point? Oh, it's you, Mr. Mid-boss. Weren't you saying earlier that only Celestians can open this gate? Hmm. Uh, huh. Oh, um, that's strange. 
<laughs> it has been thousands of years since a demon other than moi passed through this gate. Uh-huh. It's all clear to me now. You're an evil henchman who's been hired by the Seraph. Pfft, wrong! Yeah, I have a better idea who he is, but I'm not saying because... Spoilers. I know! You're an angel in disguise! Pfft, another wrong answer! You all have very active imaginations, but I, the Dark Adonis, just happen to be passing by. Nothing more. Uh-huh. Nothing more? Yeah, we'll see about that. Huh. So, Dark Adonis, why is it that you're in Celestia? I am here to test your resolve. What? From this point on, you will face challenges unlike anything you have experienced before. I hope so. Whether or not you can emerge victorious, I would like to see with my own eyes. But what does that have to do with you? Why do you care? Answer me! <laughs> we have talked long enough. Show me what you are capable of. Alright, then let's see what we got here. XP 100%. Oh, is that all we've got around here? Could be alright then. Could be alright. So, lol, obviously. We'll go here. We'll give a little uh, meteor impact because we know that does quite a bit of damage. Jennifer, we'll go here. But what we'll do with you first because you're, you're not as strong as Lahal there. So, Griffin. We'll go with a special and we'll go with Braveheart. Alright, so, Athos will get you out ready for what else we're going to do over here. Alright, so what we're going to get is. Tick, tick. There. And we'll get eyebrow fetish. Eyebrow fetish. There. And we'll get magic boost. Doing it the wrong way around. Always get that the wrong way around. Right, Griffin, over here. Alright, special magic boost. Like so. And Athos, over here. Giving you a lovely brave heart. Okay, in terms of buffs, I think we're done this. Let's execute. Here I, come. I mean, this one I wasn't going to buff anyway, so it's fine there. Hmm, we're going to need a lot of damage out then. This is one of the reasons I wanted that there, was so we could see what we were doing, what we were dealing with. It's something quite powerful. So, what we'll actually do is we'll get Kepi over here. Alright, so... So, we have buffed up, it's fine there. The problem is that you're in the way now. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, so, what I'm gonna do... Where's David? Because I like sacrificing David. He's fine to sacrifice. Nope. Bring you back in there. Okay, cosmic arrow that way, but I don't want to do that just yet. The aim is... Tic Tac doing stuff. Actually, we'll hold off there. Tic Tac go there. Eyebrow finish there. Hogmizer, go there. Try and build a little barrier around these guys. Thursday, go there. And... Gordon, go there. So all we can have out. Okay, alright, so... Just attack Jack, just because. Okay, right, so can you... Can you attack anyone? You can, I don't know where it moves. I don't know if it moves the character, etc. Or the enemy. Alright, so... Is there a better option there for that one? Probably not, so we're going to have to go with that. Make a fire. We both run about fire, we'll go with that one. And cosmic arrow, and we'll end turn. Hopefully this works out nicely. A strong hit, I like that. Good de grass. Yeah, happy enough with that. Mid boss is on the move. What are you doing? Yeah, 
going after my magic users even after I put a little barrier around them. How dare you, sir. Yeah, that's what you deserve. Okay, so... Very much coming in with the idea of attack. Attack. So you're attacking, you're attacking. And then special. Here we go with that. You guys move back in. It's probably for the best. End turn. It's like it's gonna be a little Lahal special with this. Maybe, I mean, we've got Jennifer around to support as well, so. Lovely. Doo -doo -doo. I was hoping to maybe get some more XP for some of the other characters, but. Yeah, it doesn't look like it'd be the case. Okay, so. Let's go Overlord. No, 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 no. Winged Slayer. Okay, so we should be alright, so then do Cosmic Arrow that way. That's correct, right? Yep, 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 yep. Enter. Here I come! Do 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 do. Oh. Better known that would have attacked mid boss. Alright. She survived, that's good, that's good. It was quite a powerful hit when you think about it. Okay, so... Let's go there for now. So what we're going to be doing is special, meteor impact. Here I come. What can we do in terms of damage with you? Not really anything. I think... We'll throw out one of these on her. Make sure she's healed up. We'll heal you all up, really. Right, in turn. I've seen this one already. Oh dear, oh dear. Alright then. Did not expect that. If she can don't slash spinning, go spinning. And we'll go with a blazing knuckle. Been seen in a little while, so. Right. Hmm. Let's just get a bit more damage out on him. I'm just running out of SP. Do I have any SP items? Not really like yam starch is a little bit, but better than nothing, I suppose. Zero. Is he out of SP? I was gonna say, like, what's he doing? Again, our health is an issue. So it's like... Let's move you away for now. Get you facing that way. Enter. Short SP situation. Uh, that's alright. Lord's Wrath. Night Sever. Wind Cutter. Hurricane Slash. Go with that. Do, 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 do. That's better in terms of damage. That's a, that Adonic Buster is a pain, isn't it? It's just surviving that and I'm alright. He should be out of SP at this point, though. 777. Seven. Yeah, he has pretty much no SP left. So, okay, slash again, enter. But of course! 
Give me loads of counters, please. Oh, would have been nice. Okay, 100 king slash, pop, pop, pop. Come on, end up killing yourself through a counter attack. There we go. Level up, oh. Right, so I'm going to end this part here. Then in the next part, we'll probably view a scene after this stage. So, ta-ta for now.